Hey guys, so we're talking about Basketball Wives Season 7, Episode 5. Um, the one that just aired this evening. So, just going to touch on things. Not going to be in any order, just the things that stood out to me. OG has to be one of the most confident yet delusional broads on planet Earth. Um, a woman with that level of confidence... I usually admire, like I, like I, I love it, right? But delusional in a sense that you really thought that you could actually come for Malaysia and her appearance, walking in with a twelve-dollar Claire's tiara on your head that is pressed down to a wig that is sliding away from your face with matte pink lipstick that goes nothing with the complexion and no lip liner and I won't even get on the outfit with oh my oh my goodness OG 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 and let me say this as an as a fellow Nigerian I am highly disappointed okay I am just like Yo, you do not represent us with all that you've been doing this season. Um, you literally became combative while coming for Malaysia when she was basically just like letting you know that, no, it's coming off hella shady. And it was for you to speak on Jackie or even pry on her personal relationship. If the girl was not willing to tell you then she's not willing to tell you. You don't go and pry from other young ladies. One being who's not even the girl's friend who is an enemy, i.e. Evelyn. Okay, you went to mention a girl in, in the midst of her enemy while you're supposed to be her friend. Like, I was so glad and so proud with Malaysia for calling you out on that. In what world, whether it's on TV or off TV, would that have been okay? I'm sure you could have found other things to connect to them girl with them girls on than trying to, you know, pry on someone that's supposed to be your friend. I'm so glad that Malaysia clocked it and not even entertained it because that spoke more of you than it spoke of Jackie. So that was ridiculous. And then to go and attack and say, you know, buy wig and with your wig that, mind you, look a million times better than the thin strands of, you know, one bundle of weed that was literally running away from your head. Like, it was, oh, my God. OG. 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 Then you gave Malaysia a half-assed apology instead of just saying, you know what? I was totally out of line. That was wrong with me. You gave her a half-assed apology. I think you're so much on the defense because with all of these ladies, because you're feeling as if you have something to prove, as if like, oh, I've watched the previous seasons and, you know, I've watched all seven seasons of Basketball, Basketball Wives L.A., as well as the seasons of Miami. And I see how these ladies get down. And I'm going to show them that I'm not the one. And that's where you're on. So you're on this com combative mood. Where you're so focused on showing them that you're not the one. When in actuality is doing the opposite of that. When Kristen greeted you. A simple hello would have been enough. Instead of a. Oh uh, okay. And speaking of Kristen, Kristen, I find you to be pathetic. And here's why. Because it's very high school-like that you're trying to fit in with the Evelyn and Jen. Um, in, in the sense to where you yourself become a mean girl. You know, you definitely flip the story of what OG said. She said to you, is he? She said to you you know, should he, you know, like basically two words to you and you flipped into a, oh, you, you said that, you know, he's not with his mind, you know, saying of this and that, regardless of what she implied or what you took as that, show me said, is he, don't add a hundred words to something that was only two words. Um, 
you did not have, you know, um, I forget her father-in-law's girlfriend's name. You didn't really have her back. But you know what? To be honest with you, she herself needs to learn how to better defend herself. I do agree with you on that. When you first heard about what Evelyn and Jen were saying, and I'm referring to the Asian girl, when you first heard about what she was saying, you were just like, oh, you know, like, I'm not the one. I'm this and that. And every time when you were in the room with these ladies, you leave off in tears. So you are the one. And you have to be the one when, of all people, Jen gets you together. Jen, who we have watched get slapped on national TV and get a drink thrown in her face, who has been embarrassed on numerous occasions, and get a whole human being, i.e. ex-best friend, slash new friend, slash rebuilding relationship of her pal Evelyn, you know, literally jump across the dining room table to, to leap to, to get at her. And you let Jen get you together. And Jen... You've just shown that you're still a mean girl. Same thing with Evelyn. You you guys are both popular mean girls. And you're too old for that with, you know, one being in the 40s, the other one being in the late 30s. You're too old to have that mean girl mentality. I don't even think you guys realize that you're showing. So, Evelyn, Iyanla did not, like, clearly went just through you. Like, it just, like, it was, you know... Uh, let me change my reputation scene and you're back to your old ways, which is what Tammy pointed out a very long time ago. Um, it's, it's very disgusting the way that you guys treated that girl, knowing that you guys started the rumor. And then it was like, oh, so what kind of degrees do you have? Like, where did you get your nursing degree from? But Evelyn, do you even have a degree? Like, your money has come off of laying with other men. So do you even have a degree to even approach this young lady on her degree? Um, Jen, I think I heard that you had a degree from somewhere. But... You know, this woman who started up her own business of things, Jen, you were trying to, let's not forget that for a damn near 10 years, you were trying to get four colors of lip gloss off the ground that never made its way to the day of light. Um, so with that said, you're in no position to speak. Um, I can't wait for next week's episode. That's basically all I got from this episode. Shout out to Malaysia. Malaysia is the MVP of this episode. This girl who used to be trained to go snap, you know, clap back for days. And she took OG's insults with laughter because it was quite hilarious coming from OG. You know, through her a wig party and her in her honor and benefit, packaged her a wig and paid for it. If that is not the shadiest and the most pettiest yet in the classy way of, of getting OG all the way together, all the way together, I don't know what it is. So, Malaysia, kudos to you. Always loved you. You are the real MVP of this episode. Um, the lose of this episode will definitely be OG for sure because I was literally mine. Like, it is one thing to be confident. It's another thing to be delusional. And your confidence should never get in the way of you literally coming for somebody who is better put together than you have shown in all of these episodes. And we're on episode five. And I don't think it gets any better. Um, okay, I will see you guys next time. Bye.